Hi, I'm Kathy Appelot. I'm a senior at Lincoln Northeast, and according to all known laws of aviation, I'm going to draw you a girl. Actually, I'm going to draw you a woman, and I'm going to draw her just on the edge of the kitchen, on a high stool or just a really tall chair at an abnormally tall table. I'm going to draw her with the upper hand. I'm going to draw her one leg up, bent, foot flat on the chair cushion, the other leg thrown over to rest on the chair next to her. I'm going to draw her unladylike. And I'm going to draw her smiling. Look at her. This zenith of a woman, you who made this kitchen her personality trait, and yet she is now the sun and everything life is drawn from her. Look at her. This doll of honey, of flora, who bears the stamp of a fuchsia-coated cage and smokes a fuchsia cigarette whenever always comes around. Think now of wasps, how they sting and her, the sugar that draws them in. Oh, she is poisonous, and she is laughing. I cannot draw, though. <laughs> and the smile looks more grimace than sly grin, and her teeth are slightly crooked, and perhaps she's a bit farther into this kitchen than I intended, and I have not colored her in yet, but I know I must use the darkest shade of brown that I have, and this girl, I thought a woman, has maybe just grown up too fast. If you look, in this tight kitchen with the checkered floors and the brown stove, there are pots on all four burners and the oven is on. The dishes are piled high on the drying rack and her feet are swollen. This is the after of using her magic as an energy source. This is the witch inside her is sleeping. This is when she is weak enough to be captured and burnt at the stake. This is woman surviving. And maybe now, I will mention she sits at the head of the table, sits at the head of the table so she can watch them play through the doorway. A girl who doesn't want to do something, but a woman who is ready. And if you are going to call her black, call her onyx, midnight, obsidian, like a deep black, like black with soul. And if it is her skin, you deign to define her as, say, burnt sienna, Deep tape, you know, one of those shades you can't define with one word or two. I hope you are realizing she is undefinable, which is why I cannot write you woman, and I cannot write you blackness. I cannot say what it is to be both black and woman. I can tell you this woman worked three jobs while raising three kids and getting her nursing license. I can talk about GEDs and incarceration rates, daycares and parenting classes in high schools, small coffins in the friendship home. I can write you flavor and music, literature and art, clothing and doing business in heels, but I cannot write you woman. After all, only a man would think himself big enough to speak for everyone.